It was good last night. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were joking. I had a better time after. After? I went out late here. After I left you. I went into town. Who with? Just me. An old bar that stays open till one. And then I went to a lap dancing club. I know what they serve all night. And I met a bloke there called uh... oh. But he's uh, staying at the Chariot Square, so I crashed there for a couple of hours. In a stranger's hotel room. He's all right. And he'll be here any second now. There she is. Hey, you. Abby. I've changed my mind, thanks. I see you started without me, hey, Nina? Yeah, I had to, uh... Oh, this is my uh, friend, Daisy. Hello, love. <laughs> and you are? Huey. <laughs> what can I get you, Huey? Uh, whatever her ladyship fancies. Uh, a red wine from me and a wee belt of whiskey to chase. That a wedding ring? It is. Nineteen years. Separated now, but I can't get the blooming thing off. <laughs> Nineteen years. It's your age, isn't it? <laughs> Nineteen years of one woman. <sighs> well, officially. So I've a lot of catching up to do. Ain't that right, sugar? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, just grab a seat, yeah? Yeah, I won't be a mo. How you doing? No, you know, some days are, well, I suppose it's a bit like what you do in this place. Clear up the mess and try to hide what's gone on. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. So what has gone on? Uh, Nina and this bloke. The one she picked up last night. I heard her earlier. Yeah. And how was he? Slimy. Old enough to be a dad. The pair of them were totally wasted. I had to turn them out before they trashed the place. Nina? Wheels have proper fallen off. She's, um... She's gone back to his hotel to carry on drinking. Which hotel? Chariot Square. New talent. Wow. Someone must have seen something really special in Gory Brent. Was it you? No. It was the club. Are you the club? No. I'm Tommy's agent. This isn't the time or place for this, Nina. Are you going to represent him? Because I have to confess, I don't know much about football, but, but this lad has got good, strong feet. I mean, he kicked the life right out of my boyfriend. He knocked him to the floor and kicked him to death. OK. We should go through for dinner. This brave hero. This, this best new talent. Look, Corey wasn't involved in any of it. Tommy, now. What have you done? You've... You're a psycho! How dare you! Wait, wait for me! Nina! I should have smashed him over the head with it. And then you'd have been arrested. At least I'll have done something. What's that supposed to mean? That I can't walk around pretending everything's all right? Like me. You think that's what I'm doing? Aren't you? Look, kid. I know how you're feeling. No, you don't. You really don't. I've lost my son. But you weren't there. I wasn't. And one of us lived, and one of us... Louis, Louis, whatever your name was, can you get me a drink and take me to your room? My lady. Let me take you home. No, I don't want to go home. Yeah, leave her alone, eh? Shouldn't you be going back to your wife? I heard you on the phone. Give the kids a kiss from me, tell them Daddy will be back soon. I haven't slept with him, I swear. And not for one to try it. Or get lost! You are better than this. You're better than him. I'll tell you what. 
take any more now. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks a change, Amy, waiting on you. I'm so sorry. You have nothing to apologise for. I'm a walking disaster zone. So am I. And I've been really hard on you, saying stuff about how you were dressed. You've said sorry. Yeah, well, that doesn't make up for it. It's funeral, saying I didn't want you there. You'll never know how much I hate myself for that. Don't. You might think that I've just been wandering about, not doing anything, as you put it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I know you didn't. And I, I could so easily be doing what you've been doing so easily. But I've been fighting it every minute of the day. Fighting that urge to just go out and get wrecked and get away. But I know it'll still all be here when I go back. And it's not what Seb would have wanted. We've just got to play the game. That's all I'm doing. And that's all I'm asking you to do. Just play the game. He's already got bail. He's gonna get away with it. I know it. He won't. He can't. Seeing him in the hotel. Seeing him living it up. This. It just doesn't seem right. It's not. But we've got to believe that it will be. In the hotel, he said uh, that you were there, that you lived and Seb died. Yeah. I wish it had been me. It wasn't a choice, you know? <sighs> if you'd have died, that's not to say Seb would have lived. You do know that, don't you? But you, you can't think like that. You can't. What happened that night happened of me. No. It was me who said I wanted to walk. But you didn't hurt Seb. It wasn't you who attacked him. No. You can go round and round thinking about how things could have been different. I know. I've done it. But believe me, it will just, it will send you, it will send you potty. There's nothing, nothing that either of us could do to change the things that have happened. It's happened. Seb's gone. But what we can do, we can make sure we don't make things worse. We need to look after ourselves. Now, I've got your back. You get mine, all right? We need to look after those around us as well. Those who want to look after us. Roy, Carla, everyone around here. Yeah. Yeah. 